Hey everyone and welcome to EdTech Hustle. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a 3D model from any photo. Let's go ahead and get started. So meet my dog, Joey. What I'd like to do is create a 3D model of Joey that looks realistic and put that on my desk as a nice keepsake. Now, there's not an easy way to do this as far as I know, because I'm just kind of a beginner with 3D printing. But the website I'm going to show you will allow me to do that. It's called Rodan Gen 1. And what this website allows you to do is to create a 3D model by simply entering a prompt, almost like a chat GPT for 3D models. But it also allows you to upload a photo and then to generate a 3D model from that photo. So that's what I'm going to do. The first thing that we'll need is not only the photo, but it works best if you have a photo with a white background so the subject is clearly identified. Now there's multiple ways to do this. I'm going to be using Canva for this example but if you don't have canva you can also use a website like remove.bg totally free it will you can upload your photo and it will remove everything in the background so i'm going to use this background remover tool in canva by clicking edit image bg remover and now as you can see everything in the background is gone and i just have joey so from here, I'm just going to download this as a regular JPEG or PNG photo file. And I'm going to go back to Rodan and upload that photo. Here it is. Now I can also upload up to five different photos if I wanted to. For this example, I'd only have one photo, but if I wanted to, so I can get some real realistic uh, looks at, at Joey, I could upload multiple photos and Rodan would then take all of those five photos and then generate one model. But for right now, I'm just going to upload this one photo. All right, so here is a preview of my asset. And if you go over to the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see that it automatically generated a prompt, corgi dog in a harness, smiling and sitting. He's actually not sitting, he's standing, but but that's okay. Um, but if I wanted to, I could add additional details to put in here. I can also add specific things for this model, like right over here. And then I can redo and regenerate this. Now, you'll notice on here, it says 50. You will need to purchase an amount of credits in order to regenerate. It's free to try. You can sign up for free. You can actually create your own 3D models. But if this is something you want to use frequently, um, one thing you will need to do is probably regenerate this a couple times to get this exactly how you want and for that purpose you will need to purchase credits but for the most part I think this looks okay so I'm going to select confirm yes and now let's go ahead and generate this okay now you'll have some options for material generation again you could upload additional photos here if you want or you can add additional uh, words for this prompt now I'm going to kind of turn this to get a better idea of my model and you know, I think this looks pretty good, but I guess maybe the tail, that sort of thing doesn't look quite right. One of the things you can do is open your model in what's called the mesh editor. And now from here, if there's little things that you don't like, like let's say right about here, I wanna just get whatever, whatever these things are here on here, I just wanna take them out. Um, there's a number of different things you can do. Here's a, a, an attempt for me to sculpt, or what I like to do, is to make things negative. So what that will do is sort of remove whatever this is. And I'm not the best sculptor <laughs> with this kind of thing. So this may take some playing around uh, for you to, if you, if you do this. But this is one way that you can control how something looks, all right? So I think this looks pretty good. Let me just maybe flatten out that belly just a little bit, kind of like that, all right? This is how it looks now. Again, I could spend more time doing this. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and I'm going to select confirm, but this just gives you options after you generate your model. You do have the option to kind of sculpt it how you want. All right, so now I'm just going to select generate, and there it is. Here is the 3D model of my dog, Joey. You know, I think this looks really cool. Again, I have a limited ability in 3D model design, but I was able to upload a photo and get a 3D model from that that I think is going to look really cool. Now, once I'm done, I don't know if you saw on the previous screen, but it did say to download this as a high poly geometry image so I can select download. I'm going to download the STL file. And from here, I'm going to then take that STL file and then print that on my 3D printer. I think I will have a very cool keepsake to put on my desk and remind me of my dog. 
That's it. The website is Rodan Gen 1. Go ahead, try it, create your own 3D model from any photo. It's simple, it's easy, and I think you'll really like it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions on things in this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you and have a great day.